this year we are using Singapore math. I looked on YouTube every like I looked everywhere on the web on YouTube to try to find examples of what is inside of a Singapore math book and I cannot find any except for one. And so today I will be showing you what is inside of it so you can decide which math curriculum you want to use with your child. I've heard lots of parents talk about Saxon math, uh, Math C, and Abeka, and I heard they're all really good in Singapore math. Um, not a lot of people who I know use Singapore math. I think I'm the only person who is using it, but I figured I saw a lot of good reviews for it. Um, but you do have to start it off when your child's young because the way they teach it is very different from what we're used to. It is very hands-on, so you do have to be next to your child um, and doing this with them. So if you don't want to do that or you don't have the time, then I would recommend Matthew C for your child. And this is very colorful for a kindergartner. Has lots of good stuff in it. Lots of charts, graphing, addition, and I'm just flipping through it so you can get a feel of what a Singapore math book would be. And we use two, we do two pages a day from the textbook. And this is the textbook, and it is. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and um, this is what we use first. So I read online that you need to use the textbook if you're doing it in a classroom setting at a school because you will not have time to incorporate the activity book because you'll probably run out of time if you did both of them. But if you're, you are homeschooling and you want to get the whole package, then definitely pick up the activity book and it's pretty much like the textbook it's thinner than the textbook um, pretty simple stuff um, it has some practicing of the numbers and it has a part, well actually you know what, I forgot to show you guys something. In the textbook it has what you can ask your child when you're um, doing each page. So it has exactly what to say to them and what to have them say back to you. You don't have to do it, but it does help teach it and it's on every single page. And in the activity book, it does not have that, but it's pretty simple in the kindergarten level that you don't really need it for the activity book. And it has, like, if you need materials, it shows, like, a picture of what you need. And in the back of the book, it has cutouts, so you can use it and, um know what page to go to for the cutouts and you just cut them out use a glue stick paste them on and there's lots of graphing which is great for your child to visually do it's very thorough I think I mean for the basic skills that you want your child to know in kindergarten so I would recommend to get the activity book, maybe do it on the weekends, maybe two pages on the weekends. And then for the textbook, just do two pages every day. And if you do want to, if your child is really enjoying it, which my child does, um, then go ahead and just do one page out of the activity book after your textbook work. So there is what is inside of an early bird kindergarten mathematics book for Singapore math. Thank you for watching. Bye.